following some random man. I don't know what's happening. What's up everybody? It's Chelsea with RTW Discoveries. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and also hit the bell notification so you know every time I upload a new video. Today, you are coming along as we take a tour with Nexus. They provided us the transportation to take us to a souvenir shop that was in Cancun. First, we started off at a jewelry shop. Unfortunately, we could not record, but it was really nice. They had these different diamonds. They also had this one gem that you can only get in Mexico, and it actually changes colors outside. And then when you go inside, it's a completely different color. It was absolutely beautiful. I wish I could have took a video to show you guys, but unfortunately, they wouldn't let us. But I was able to take a video of this souvenir shop, so come along. And here's where you're gonna get the souvenirs for the family. Tu abuela says she needed a drum set? Got it. <laughs> and if two hermanos say he wanted a tow truck? No problem, okay? No matter what they want, no matter what they need, you're going to get it from this location. Oh, hey. known as calaveras in Mexico are an essential part of the symbolism of Dia de los Muertos. You can't visit Mexico and not do a tequila tasting. Now, tequila isn't my favorite spirit, but I was down for free liquor. And this isn't that commercial tequila that we get here in America. This is that fill it in your chest tequila. They have so many flavors and even some you can mix with your dessert. <laughs> <laughs> All tequilas here is 100% blue agave. Well, oh, okay. no commercial tequila. It's real Mexican tequila from oh, Silver Fox. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's smooth. I can feel that. Yeah. I don't know, but he looks real. Right? I know. <laughs> Oh, with tequila. And what did you say, a pomegranate? So it's just like pomegranate juice? No. I'm going to do that. After we 
spent about 30 minutes drinking to the next location. To the next location. Nexus drove us to the famous Fifth Ave of Playa del Carmen, where we were able to spend about two hours to do shopping, um, grab something to eat, sightseeing. We even spent some time at a beach club. So come along. Let's go ahead, take a walk around Fifth Ave and Playa del Carmen. This place was absolutely beautiful. I mean, not just this hotel, but Playa del Carmen actually grabbed my heart, honestly. Even while I was at the airport getting ready to leave, I actually... <laughs> looked up how I would be able to work in Mexico. I would personally love to stay in Playa del Carmen for about three months out of the year. So I actually did look into that. I don't know what it was about Playa del Carmen. Well, you'll be able to see what it is about Playa del Carmen that made me fall in love. but something about it seemed too commercial for me and being in Mexico I knew I wanted some authentic tacos well we were lucky enough to find this place and the food was phenomenal <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I'm single. Oh, I remember. Shayla, I remember. <laughs> Come. 
Oh no, we gotta make it back to the bus. So. into staying in <laughs> Playa del Carmen. I actually did look up this place, to be honest with you guys. It was just beautiful. The beach actually is pretty much right in front of it. I don't know if you can see it there in the right-hand corner, but this place is awesome. Now, before leaving, we did want to check out Mama Sita's Beach Club, and this is during a weekday, so you will see some people, but it's not as busy as it normally is for this location. As you can tell, it wasn't as sunny as it normally is in Mexico, but everyone was making the best day of it. Even without the sun out, you can still see how beautiful this beach is. I love that they have the matching colors of the sand as the umbrellas. Then you're able to see that blue turquoise beach in the background. Everything about it was absolutely amazing. People were out there just like working, doing their regular nine to five jobs and then relaxing. You had some kids in the beach. I really love this place. I'm actually going to go back when I go to Playa del Carmen. Okay guys, this is the story time about how we thought we were going to be kidnapped in Mexico. Now I know this is not funny, I know this does happen, but a part of the story I kind of think maybe my sister and I was overreacting. But hey, <laughs> at the time it didn't feel like it. So this is what happened. 
So while we're walking down the street, some random man came up to one of the ladies and said, hey, do you remember me? She was like, no, <laughs> and kept walking. So he started following us saying, yeah, you do remember me. You do remember me. I'm the guy from the hotel. She's looking at him, you know, trying to like figure out exactly who he is. Then she says, okay, yeah, now I remember you. So he was like, yeah, well, ladies, it's so good to see you. Come follow me <laughs> to my friend's family's like jewelry store or whatever. So she was like, okay, cool. Also, do you know where we can get something to eat? So he's like, yeah, I'll take you guys to the perfect place to get something to eat. Just follow me. So the ladies decide to follow this guy. So I'm not thinking much of it. I'm just walking around recording. Like I'm not even really <laughs> paying attention to what's happening. So then all of a sudden we start walking towards this place and we see the bars. It is a legit jewelry store, okay? So <laughs> we walked inside. I'm reluctant to say this, but yes, we walked inside. Now, my sister and I stayed super close to the door, okay? Because nobody's going to lock us inside. Plus, we're extra paranoid. Listen, we've been drinking tequila. You just never know, okay? We watched enough movies. We were just a little afraid at the time, okay? <laughs> so, one thing that we noticed, the ladies, they're shopping. They're looking at the jewelry. But my sister and I are paying very close attention to this door, the door was open and both, it was like two sliding doors. So both of the sliding doors were open. All of a sudden, one guy comes inside. When he comes inside, he closes the right side of the sliding door. <laughs> so my sister's looking at me. I'm looking at her. I'm looking at the other ladies. They're not paying attention to this because they're shopping. And <laughs> me and my sister's just super paranoid. Then a guy leaves. He does something, makes a circle, comes back inside. Now the left side of the sliding door is open. He closes that halfway, okay? So now my sister and I, we, we freaking out at this point, okay? We stand in one spot. We're afraid. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> we are thinking the worst, okay? I got my data turned off on my phone. Like, this is just, it's driving me crazy, okay? She's looking scared, <laughs> I'm looking scared. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> now, another guy comes inside, right? So he had to open the left side of the door. He comes inside and he closes the door more than halfway. At this point, it's too much. Me, <laughs> me and my sister freak out. And we're like, no, we don't, we're not getting nothing. So we're going to get out. So me and my sister, like, literally ran out of the jewelry store. Like... <laughs> Like, literally, at the moment, we felt like they were locking us up. Like, for the both of the doors to be almost all the way closed, that was freaky for us. And we knew that, you know, we shouldn't go to another country and play around, okay? Our antennas was up. We were trying to figure out what was going on. And we got up out of there, okay? Now, call us paranoid. Call us crazy. I don't know. But all I know is if you go out of the country and random guys pull you into a store and then all of a sudden the doors start closing, what would you do? Okay, <laughs> what would you do? Never again. <laughs> I'm lucky that nothing happened. Like I said, I think we were just overreacting, but we made it out safe. And listen, this was something that only me and my sister noticed. The other ladies didn't even notice it. They were still buying jewelry, so everything was fine on their end. But this was this was freaky. I was scared. But <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad that that is over. And as you can tell, we are heading back to the hotel. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell, okay? Bye.